Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, 2nd February, we'll talk about all the doubts that we get in our uh, lives. Every day, every moment, we'll have some doubt. Uh, supposing we are starting something, we'll have the doubt whether we'll be able to finish it off or not. But when we know that God is with us, there shouldn't be any doubts. We'll see about uh, Peter's doubt today. Matthew 14, 31 Jesus himself is saying, You of little faith, why did you doubt? He's asking all of us. Jesus is scolding Peter for his little faith. You must all be knowing about the background of this incident. While the disciples were traveling in a boat which was buffeted by the waves, Jesus approached them walking on the disturbed waters. When they realized that it was Jesus, Peter wanted to walk on the water too and Jesus agreed. He took some steps but started sinking when he saw the angry waves around him. He cried out to Jesus and he, Jesus reached out and caught him and Jesus was upset about their little faith. This doubt is the greatest enemy and blockade for our spiritual growth and prayerful life. Although we start out with good intentions, sometimes our faith falters just like that of Peter. When his father faith faltered, he reached out to Christ, the only one who could help. The whole basis for prayer and spiritual life is believing and trusting God's word. The key is what God said and not what man said. Martin Luther prayed like this, Not the merits of my prayer, but the certainty of thy truth. We have to re-educate the con subconscious mind because that is where many of our doubts are rooted down. We may say with our conscious mind that we have a lot of faith, but the subconscious mind has all the fears buried. All the doubts and uncertainties are shoved down there in the subconscious mind from our childhood, and they don't change overnight. As we grow spiritually, we'll stop being kids, and through a process of re-education and re-experience, they will be removed. This is where the Word of God plays an important role. Through prayer, meditation, reading the scripture, we should tell ourselves that God can be trusted and so we can depend on Him completely. This will remove all our doubts. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us that as human beings we'll all have doubts, but with you in us and with your Word in us, we shouldn't be having any doubts. Please help us to realize that. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.